Hi guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a ring pour, a, a cloud pour in the ring. Uh, it's on an 18 by 18 gallery wrapped canvas. Everything's been taped and pinned on the back. And for my colors today, I'm using Amsterdam's Thalo Prussian Blue, really deep, pretty color blue. Um, Amsterdam Scion Blue. And um, Amsterdam Turquoise. I think it's d Turquoise Deep, actually. Uh, the Cloud Mix is a combination of DecoArt Satin Enamels White mixed with Artist Loft White and Floetrol and some water. A little bit of GAC 800 in there too. And I'll have the uh, recipe below in the description. And then we have Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta. It was a little too light for me, so I added Arteza's Bordeaux Red to it. So it's a really pretty deep magenta. And then we have Golden's Copper. And last but never least is DecoArt 24K Gold. Okay. So I'm just going to start layering.
paint tilting has really slowed down, so I think it's time to stop. Um, yeah, huge boulder cells here with that uh, uh, that recipe, cloud recipe. Maybe it's a little too much. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm sure this will do a little more as we keep as it keeps drying. I do like the lines of the blue with the magenta in here. I can barely see any gold or copper. It just kind of sunk in there. And usually gold and copper will create a lot of cells too, but I just, all I'm really seeing is the white against the blue. It's definitely shimmering it from the gold and copper, but not as much as I would have liked. So I think I'm done. I'll go ahead and give this a torch. So what will this, now it looks like a guy's eye and eyebrow and a big nose and a cheek and a chin. <laughs> uh, maybe I should, I'm thinking stretch it out some more to open this center up, but I do like the color around the outside here. I don't just want one big cloud. Um, let me just check one more time, see how much paint we have. Yeah, not much movement. Go a little bit here. Okay. Bring it back to center. I kind of like that orientation with the center being off center. Looks like a little cave, ice cave. This guy torch. The torch to work. Is very cool. I like how this is opening up and becoming more of a cloud. It's really something. All right, I'm going to go ahead and scrape the edges, scrape the paint off the uh, the bottom, so that the composition doesn't go dripping off the side, and I will bring you down for a close up. Okay, here are the wet results of this cloud pour. I love the magenta and the blues and how they blend with the cloud in here. It's very three-dimensional looking. And then it does look like an ice cave and then this is the center. Now, I don't know if you can see, that looks like a funny bald guy with eyes, eyebrow, cheeks, chin, and a, a big nose. <laughs> a droopy big nose. Anyway, maybe I should call this droopy face. I don't know. I'm loving how the, uh, those huge cloud cells. Oh, that 
pretty blue along the edges. You can see a little bit of gold in there, and there's copper. That's about it. It didn't seem to go anywhere else. Of course, maybe the cloud formation. The clouds tend to eat up some of the color too, but it does put a lot of nice bling throughout here anyway. So I'm not complaining. So there that is. I will bring you back in a minute to show you the dry results. See you then. Okay, so here are the dry results with my little ice cave cloud pour. The clouds are so defined, it looks like each one is outlined with that darker blue. It's, it's uh, the magenta and blue is blended so nicely with the clouds, it does give it a three-dimensional look to it. Over here we have these blue boulder cells. Those are the storm clouds, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's been raining here in Southern California, and it's coming out and filming this in between all the drizzly weather. So there's the little cave, and the grumpy face is still in there. But I think I'm just going to call it Ice Cave instead of Grumpy Face. There he is. Well, thank you so much for joining me and watching this. You take care and be well and happy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.